Friday twinning. Time to call Chloe. <laughs> Hello. Chiquita banana. Ciao. Is Chiquita banana more Spanish? Chiquita banana, I think it's more Spanish. But a lot of people will be excited by our twinning today because it is a bit of that new season. Zara I ordered so much. There's very few things I kept, but one of them was this. But when you got it, what was your first thought? Cool, but also quite blushy, and I'm not usually wearing those kind of colors. The cool yet washing out. But I'm sure that we with some makeup, we can make it rise yeah. and shine. And this week it's about that sort of beautiful, soft, discreet makeup with some depth. Because when you wear washing out colors, sometimes wearing depth in your makeup is important. Yeah. So your depth shade to me is Freddie lip to cheek. And then the light is sun. With the lip, you want something which is the Freddie's there, but then maybe there's some Maddie or some Bunny or something. Okay. How about you, Trini? Palette. I'm going to go for chalice and moon on my eyes. Throw in some virtue. So should we start with eyes? Yeah, let's start with eyes. Chalice to me is this sort of amethysty gray with a little blue. Am I just going to put that as a wash? Are you doing Freddie first? I'm doing a wash of Freddie to give depth first, and then I'm going to do some sun on top and in the middle. I've woken up, Chloe, like I slept on my face like this today you know so i need to do something that's going to open up my eye i love that you chose like sequin underneath the coat and you picked up the sort of silvery shade and i'm going for the kind of like more peachy tone of the coat i'm gonna take chalice and eyeline it a bit i'm just feeling that mood upon me just to give some extra depth Trini, with sun what would you recommend how to put it in the eye socket i like to take from the tea kit this brush the lipstick brush you're gonna go chloe into the top of the corner of your eye just a tiny little line and then the other way you're going to go into that little dark bit i want it to be in a really good v at the end and it just gives that lightness in the corner of the eye you're going a bit mad now but i think you're doing it. i can't see close up enough but i think you are <laughs> You're just doing a Chloe. I'm gonna blend eventually, but I need to see it to be able to decide if it's too much. With the virtue, it's working well for me. I have a really dark bit Chloe in here, and I'm just gonna actually pop that with the virtue. And then will, would you blend it or would you leave it as a like pop of sunshine? Let me see. Yeah, it's kind of fun. I mean, nobody's gonna see you that close up. So I think for a Zoom call, it's fantastic, Chloe. Chloe. <laughs> and I'm gonna do something which is gonna lift my brow. So at the moment, it's like, ugh, the cliffs of Dover. And and I'm going to put the color above where some of my color's gone. I, I'm not going to follow around the overhang because that would just make me more overhung, hung over. <laughs> so underneath where my arch was, and I'm going to get rid of it a bit. So my brows become straighter, and then I'm going to brush up these little hairs here. Yeah, that's really cool. That's yeah. like, hello, and that's like, ugh. And then go higher up above your arch. So you're getting rid of the arch and you're making your brows straighter. I always look at those French film stars who have that really thick, straight brow. So fabulous. It's definitely a look i'm lifted i'm lifted so my voice is going higher because i'm so lifted and i'm deep i just deepened the, the freddy on the eye i'm gonna do a little blusher in katrin i'm just gonna yeah. use freddy on lips and cheeks so i'm gonna start with the lips so i can use the remaining on the cheeks so when colors wash you out a bit blusher is more important than a bronzer because it just gives that lovely bit of color and then as always i just take a tiny bit of that and I sprinkle it over whatever makeup I'm doing to get the synergy. Love. You nearly done, hon. Almost done, hon. The thing is that I'm trying to understand where to blend this blusher on my cheek. Do you remember the trick I taught you, darling? Just follow your nose to the side, to the outermost point of your pupil. Better hurry. And I just want to finish off with bunny a bit all over the place. But, uh, 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 uh. No. Put bunny, bunny in the middle of your lip, Chloe. So the shimmer is in the center and it just gives a real fullness to the lip. Okay. I'm going to take the rest of that, darling, and I'm going to put it on my cheek with a bit of the shimmer and go a little bit higher. I like a highlighter. Well, I'm just going to take a bit of bunny on its own and go above my blusher now. Woo, feels so good. Darling, I think I'm done. I don't know if we've ever done it that quickly. No, but I love it. Look at that soft and chic. Chic, we love a bit of chic, 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 chic. Okay, you ready? Yeah, I'm going to get my coat. And we can show the look. Friday, Friday summer floral. I'm going dizzy. I'm oh, sorry. I love that you are carrying the orchid. I mean, I've just got the plants in the background. <laughs> it is a really nice lightweight summer coat. It's yeah. um Zara, beautifully made. But the colour for both of us was a bit tricky, and we're wearing it differently. Start off with yours, darling. You've got that lovely pink dress underneath. Yeah, I have a blush pink uh, dress from Zara. That actually we found in New York, and I bought it and wore it since. I love it. And then 
this coat and you asked me to actually tie that at the back so this yeah. gives me like a good shape on the front which i think that works really well and i'm wearing some uh, camilla and thick white trainers to cool down the look how about yeah. you the thing about this coat is it's very big so you could have got a small literally or a medium i'm in a small but it comes big so i'm in a l if you're petite you've got to really deal with that volume well so i thought to myself actually i want that sort of dior 1950s moment so i'm going to winch it in mm -hmm. and then i'm going to rearrange the volume away from my hips so that at the side it feels flat and the volume is in the front and yeah. in the back it's really cool. Get lots of comments, Chloe, of people saying, I'm petite, can I wear this? I think yeah. as long as you show delicacy, like you show underneath a skinny trouser if you wear it my way, yeah. or with yours, Chloe, you wear a plant. <laughs> you wear a plant with it. You can find it everywhere <laughs> and it's joyful. It's so joyful. I mean, I really dare you to walk around with that plant in your hands. It's just the whole combination, you'll be stopped in the street. <laughs> Anyway, I do think everyone needs a really pretty summer coat they can take anywhere. And this could even be a dress, you know, and you could winch it in with a belt. The fabric's really soft. I'm very, I feel very happy in it, Chloe. I love it, Trini. It's like we brought the garden in, we brought the flowers in. It's like they're in our souls now, as well as in our houses. The flowers are in our souls. You heard it first from Chloe. <laughs> Have a good weekend, darling. Bye, you, Trini. Bye, my love, bye.